Hello, I'm Mr. Gigabytes, and this is Gigabytes Technology. What we're going to do in this episode today is create a, uh, a video cable for a Commodore 64 or even a VIC-20 uh, from cables that we are going to cut apart and kind of make something of. Now, in the course of researching this video, I came across a lot of pinouts like the one you're seeing from c64wiki.com. And it is both correct and incorrect at the same time. Now, I say it's incorrect because of the way we're doing this project. It's correct because those are the correct pins. Those are actually what those pins do on the back of a Commodore 64 or a VIC-20 or, or what have you. But for our purposes, we're not actually wiring up the DIN plug, which you would normally do from the back. We're combining two existing cables together and... Uh, and putting them together in a way that, that makes this all work. When I first filmed it, I thought I had all the correct information. And I created a, uh, a pinout. I actually went through the whole process and I filmed it all. And I connected all the wires up and then I plugged it in and nothing happened. I didn't even get an error on the TV I didn't get anything. I, I, it was, I just was scratching my head. Well, these are all right. So I double checked it with the multimeter and I, and I checked all my connections and I'm, you know, all, everything tested fine. Well, this is just a simple cable. It's, it's just making connections. Well, it turns out that that was the problem. I had it exactly backwards because the tables that you see all over the internet are typically referring to the pins on the port and not the pins on the cable. So when you're looking at the pins on the cable, it's reversed from the pins on the port so that they so that they connect together. The uh, the correct pinout for this project is actually going to be this and where we're going to have a white wire going to yellow wire, a black wire going to a red wire. And the black wire is the audio, and the video composite is the white wire. So then by by the end of this video, we'll have a working cable, and I'll I'll run through a few different methods of, of uh, joining it up and, and things like that. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, corrections and all. Today, we're going to build one of these. This, of course, is a 5-pin a to RCA connector uh, for audio video on, or uh, for, for the audio video on a Commodore. And I did get this with my VIC-20. I did find another cable, and this is an audio video cable for a Commodore, and this has an 8-pin connector. The problem is, you know, this is nice and all, and this is what most Commodores have. My original Commodore had an 8-pin connector. My, the problem is, is my Commodore does not have an 8-pin connector. It has a 5-pin connector. So the board in here is, uh, is an older board. So, so far, the only way I've been able to use it is through the, uh, the TV RF out. It's through the RF modulator. And that works okay, but I want to try and get some better video off of it. So, because this is 8-pin, this cable won't work. Uh, I could order one online, but I figured, well, what the heck, I might as well just go ahead and uh, build my own. And so that's what I'm going to do. So what I did is I bought, I went to Radio Shack, and there are a few of them around. Uh, there's a couple of uh, Radio Shacks in in Iowa uh, that are that are franchises. This uh, these cables are not old. These are standard 
or five pin DIN connectors uh, uh, for for a MIDI. So skipping ahead, what I did was cut the five pin DIN cable in half, the MIDI cable, cut that in half. I stripped the wire, uh, stripped the outside insulation back, and that had a, uh, a shield around it. You twist the shield wires together, uh, and those are all copper, and they all, all already go to pin two. Uh, the other wires I just stripped back probably about uh, an eighth of an inch. Uh, you could probably strip them back a little further, uh, depending. But uh, then I went and the other cable we were using, the one you saw in the picture, is simply a standard RCA audio video cable. Uh, yellow is video, uh, red and white are left and right. And so I cut that cable in half as well. Now this cable, some cables will have two separate wires in them. Uh, this cable in particular was also kind of like a coaxial cable. So you take the shield and that goes to the outer part of the, uh, uh, of the RCA connector. You twist all those wires together and uh, they will connect to the, uh, the shield on the, the DIN cable. Uh, then the, uh, then the individual wires, which carry the signal to the pin, uh, those you just strip back a little bit. And what I did is I, I uh, used uh, solder to tin the, tin the ends and then uh, connect them together. And then I used, uh, just simply used electrical tape to insulate each of the wires from each other. I was going to use shrink tubing, but uh, honestly, I just forgot about it and started connecting wires together. So instead of unsoldering everything and starting over again, I just went ahead and did up the uh, I did everything up in, in electrical tape, and that that works just fine as well. And then I wrapped that in additional electrical tape just to uh, keep them all together. And it turned out to be a it, it turned out to be a pretty good result. Now to test it out, and as you can see uh, already, uh, you really can't see much on the screen. The uh, I can you can barely sp see the spaceship, and the the uh, uh, G bar on the side, you, you really couldn't even see at all. Uh, there was no green. There was no, you couldn't see any, you really couldn't see any yellow in there. So, uh, and that's not the fault of the cable. The cable is working just fine. But I went ahead and I just took the cartridge out and just booted right up to basic. And as you can see, you can't, really can't see anything um, it, it, it was really uh, really difficult to see now what I discovered was got because the uh, the issue happens also if you use the RF output and use channel 3 I it it's uh, this particular problem it seems to be a bad uh, clock crystal because it sends the uh, sends a th signal through the RF modulator and then out to the uh, the AV port on the Commodore. What had happened was channel three crystal is damaged. I'm guessing that might be why we're we have the same issue on the AV port because it must use that it must use the same circuit. What and you can see it just uh, it sprung immediately to life. I'm using channel four and that that uh, crystal is just fine and it's and it looks sharp and you know, I'm going to I'm going to replay Jupiter Lander here in a second 
we'll have to fix the 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 crystal but we may also have some other uh other minor issues this board in this commodore happens to be a revision a board uh one of the uh, rarer early boards now we still have issues with channel four as well it's uh we've got a bunch of horizontal uh lines in it and it seems like everything's kind of shifted over a little bit and i'm not entirely sure what that uh what that might be but it could re be related to that uh to the clock crystal and, and maybe to some other issues so but as you can see you can see the bar on the side you can see the yellow and the green so it'll get a lot better result but for now thanks for watching